What's going on everybody? In this video, we will be reviewing the number one selling mouse on Amazon, the Pictech T16. The Pictech T16 has eight programmable buttons, a 7,200 DPI adjustable sensor, and an ambidextrous design. The dimensions of the mouse are 125 by 70 by 33 millimeters and it weighs about 180 grams. The mouse is wired. So speaking of the wire, it does come with a rubberized wire, which does get in the way a little bit and can hinder you from time to time, making movement not as smooth. On top, your left and right buttons are actually very good. They give a certain weight to them, which helps eliminate accidental presses. On the sides, you have three programmable buttons. Although not being the best buttons on the market, I do get the feeling that I am not going to break them. And they have a bumpy grip, which helps my thumb not slip off. The rubberized grips on the side of the mouse are top notch and the skates on the bottom are good, but not great. If you enjoy RGB on your mice, this may be a good choice for you because it has RGB on the logo, the mouse wheel, up the sides and underneath. The software is just like most others, allowing you to program the eight buttons, change the RGB, the DPI, and more. So I know it hasn't been long in the video, but I'm sure at this point you're like $23.99. That seems like a fair price. And especially when compared to other mice that are 60, 80, $100. While the answer may be yes, while this is a fairly good mouse, there is one main factor that hinders this mouse and reveals why it is priced what it is priced. You have to lift the mouse significantly higher than more expensive or higher grade mice so that it doesn't register movement and you can reposition it. For example, the liftoff distance for my Death Adder Elite is much smaller than the T16. Even when I lift the T16 off just a little bit, it still registers movement. So often what happens is I'm trying to reposition the mouse and I lift it and it starts to move where I'm trying to reposition it. For first person shooters, this is not good. And you may have been able to see in the gameplay because like I just said, it does move a little bit. And it isn't a big thing off the jump, but it could cause you to lose a lot of fights. Now don't get me wrong, this mouse is a great entry level mouse. But if you are any somewhat serious about your gaming, you may have to think about getting a better mouse just for this reason alone. Now, I don't want to leave you hanging, and I know most of you are probably looking at this mouse because you don't want to spend a ton of money on a mouse. So I am going to recommend three mice that are on Amazon and are very close to the price tag that this one has and perform better. First, we got the Razer Death Adder Essential Gaming Mouse with 6,400 DPI optical sensor, five programmable buttons, mechanical switches, and rubber side grips. This one comes in at 41 47 so a little bit more expensive, but if you save your money, this is a better mouse. Secondly, we got the Logitech G203 Prodigy RGB Wired Gaming Mouse. This one coming in at 32.78. And lastly, we got the Steel Series Rival 3 Gaming Mouse with the 8,500 CPI True Move Core Optical Sensor. Six programmable buttons, split trigger buttons, and Prism RGB lighting. This one comes in at $29.99, so the closest one to the price tag of this mouse here. If you'd like to check any of those mice out, I'll have a link in the description below. Again, other than this one feature, this mouse is perfectly fine and pretty damn good in most areas. And if the one thing that you are most interested in is how pretty it looks with your setup, then I can recommend this mouse. If you're looking to pick up this mouse or even just take a look at it on Amazon, I will have the link in the description below. And if you're curious as to what my setup is, I have all my peripherals and PC specs in the description below. Again, my name is Golsetti, and if you want to, drop a like or a subscription, and really appreciate you guys showing up. Have a great day. That was so cute. Fuck yeah, it was.